I asked five popular AI tools to generate an efficient EV toll design, and the results were surprising. In this video, we'll explore the aircraft designs generated by ChatGPT, Perplexity, Google's Gemini, China's DeepSeek, and OpenArt AI. So let's dive in. First up, we have ChatGPT. When prompted to outline the features of an efficient EV toll, ChatGPT suggested a lift plus cruise configuration, arguing that separating lift and cruise systems allow for optimized performance and improved safety. It recommended a fixed wing airframe made from lightweight composite materials like carbon fiber reinforced polymer, high aspect ratio wings for better glide performance and energy efficiency, aerodynamic drag reduction via smooth, blended, fuselage, and retractable landing gear. When asked to visualize the design, ChatGPT generated two images. The first image, a sleek high-wing aircraft with four lifting rotors, great, but it didn't have a horizontal stabilizer. The second image included a horizontal stabilizer. The rotors, however, were poorly placed. Furthermore, the rotors seemed to be unsymmetric. So a strong conceptual start, but the visuals had technical flaws. Next up, we had Perplexity. One of Perplexity's strength is transparency. It cites its sources right up front. When designing an EV doll, it even used a video from my own channel as a reference. It also summarized the design principle in a helpful table. Its image generation had two attempts. The first response, one of the strangest concepts I've seen. A tandem wing layout with an extra set of wings and four rotating propulsors two on the wings and two on the V-tail. The second response was more practical. It showcased an aerodynamic fuselage with high wings and staggered rotating propulsors. The flaw, an odd rotor count, two on one wing and three on the other. So far, AI tools seem to struggle with symmetrical design and consistent rotor counts. A third tool was Google's Gemini. Gemini offered the most detailed specification set which was refreshing. For a four to five passenger EV toll, it proposed the following, a range of 150 to 250 kilometers, a cruise speed of 250 to 300 kilometers per hour, payload of 400 to 500 kilograms, maximum takeoff weight of 1800 to 2500 kilograms, peak power of 800 to 1200 kilowatts, and a noise target of less than 60 decibels at 100 meters altitude. For visuals, the first image looked like a modified business jet, not a veto. The second image was much better. Twin rotating propellers on wing ends, similar to the Osprey or AW609. The tail though was confusing mix of twin boom and T-tail elements. Still, the image quality was by far the best among the tools. Fourth, we checked DeepSeek. DeepSeek provided a concise summary of key design features but didn't generate any images. Instead, it offered a prompt for other AI art tools, which we tested using Gemini. This prompt resulted in a decent lift plus cruise configuration with four coaxial rotors and two pusher props. A very plausible design. Finally, we tested OpenArt AI. This platform is more geared towards artists than engineers. It produced four crisp images, but none depicted realistic passenger EV tolls. Two were clearly VTOL drones. The other two were conventional fixed wing aircraft. Impressive art, but not suitable for practical application. So here's the conclusion. We tested five different AI tools and we got a wide range of results. While all designs differed, they shared common features. Number one, high wing configuration. Number two, fuselage resembling vertical aerospaces VX4. Ultimately, it's clear that most AI tools rely heavily on existing visual data rather than applying engineering principles from scratch. As a result, design inaccuracies creep in when piecing together visual elements. That said, they all offered useful starting points and in some cases, surprisingly good insight. If you learned something from this video, then please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, 
Thank you for your attention.